hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to deploy our Django application to the Heroku server so let's get started so here we are going to follow this in this funda of webit.com under python go to Django and here you have this deploy Django to Heroku okay so we'll be following this tutorial here so here it is it says first you have to install this G unicorn or Gunicorn, however you call it. So this is our dependency. So we'll open our project and let us run the command. So we're going to copy this and paste it here. Okay, so we'll give it some time to install. And it is installing. Okay, so requirement already satisfied. It's already installed, I guess. So successfully installed. Okay, so now let us see what else is there. You have to install white noise also here. So copy and paste that thing here again. So just paste this and install. And it's installing. So it's successfully installed. So here you have to create a file name proc file. Okay, so let us do that first. So we'll go and here directly create in the outer directory. Create a file name. Keep the p as capital p r o c f i l e. So don't add any extension to this. It's just going to be proc file. Here you have to add this one line of code. So it says web g unicorn project name dot w s g i log file. So here you have to mention your project name. So let us copy this. And make sure you don't miss this. You have to take that and paste it here. So our project name, you can see it's blog over here. So I'm just going to write it blog, save the file and you can close it. Okay. So once you are done with this, you need to add this requirement.txt file. So in this file requirements.txt, we need to tell Heroku what all the dependencies we require to run our Django application. So you don't have to create it manually. You can just copy this and paste the command. So it will automatically generate all the files required. Okay. So I'll give and click enter. So you can see a requirements.txt created here. So let us open it. And you can see all this is given here with by itself. Okay. So now you have given all the dependencies. So now let us go to the settings.py file. So there you have to add the domain name in the allowed hosts. Okay. So I'll just show you. So we'll go to blog settings.py and here we'll have the allowed hosts at the top. So just scroll there and you can see this allowed hosts. Okay. So here you have to add the app name. So let us go to Heroku. So here I have logged into my Heroku account and I already have one created. So I'm going to create a new one here. So say create new app. And here we are going to say blog. So it will be taken already, I guess. So blog is not available. Let's say blog Sharma. Or let us keep it the other way. Okay, Sharma blog. Let's paste it. And it is available. Okay, so let us just click create app. So you can see it is created here. Okay. So you have two or three options here. One is Heroku CLI using this and GitHub. We are going to use this GitHub today. Okay. So just click on this open app button and you can see you will get your domain name. Okay. So just copy this and paste it inside this allowed hosts. Okay. So what this does is it will just remove this. Okay. First and this is for telling Django that this domain has to access our application so now the local host will not be able to access so will not be able to run it on the local server so just add that here so you can say local host or you can add the 127.0.0.1 localhost address okay so this step is done so let us see what is next step and here we have added this in the loud host so security warning will be given in the comment uh, by the comment over there so whenever you are deploying the app, make sure you set debug to false. Okay. So we'll do that. 
so let's we'll set this to false now let us see the next step so here add the white noise middleware after the security middleware and before the session middleware okay so you can see here security and session middleware so in this django just go to your middleware list here so you can see security and session middleware so here in between we have to add the new middleware that is white noise middleware okay so you can just copy this copy and paste it here okay so make sure you have given the comma and now when deploying to heroku you will get an error that static files okay so while uploading we will get an error let us paste this also to avoid any errors so just copy this and create it here okay and this means we need to create a static files in the outer directory so here i'll create a folder called static files and inside that you can just create or you should you can just keep on image okay for the five icon or something like that so i'm going to just pull this dummy this logo thing i'll just copy and paste it inside the static files so call it paste okay so i'll close it and once we are done with this we are ready to deploy on heroku okay so let us go to the github so here i'll create a new repository and let's call it sharma blog okay so description let's say django project and i'm going to keep it public and create repository and here you will get all the commands okay so first let us initialize the git over there so go to your vs code and you can get here so oops i pasted it in the document so here you have to paste it in this and hit enter so you can see git initialized and now we have to just git add and we'll add all the things so that will be done by dot okay so git add and add a full stop here and hit enter so it's added okay so we have added all the things so now you can see git commit and this is the message we are passing okay so let us paste it here so this is the message we are saying first commit let us hit enter and all these files are committed and now you can just give git branch main we'll just switch to the main branch and hit enter so it's to the main branch it is so now we are just going to add this over there okay paste it hit enter and it is done so now last is just you have to push it so just copy this and paste it there so it will push all the files so you can see we have got on pop up so it says sign in with your browser okay so it's asking for sign in so let us sign in and here we have got so let us say authorize authentication succeeded so you may close this and return to the application so let us go to our vs code and you can see it's done okay so now we'll go and check in our github repository if it is uploaded or not so just reload this and you can see our files is here so now we will connect this to the heroku here so here we are going to say github and you can connect your github and my is already connected here so i'll say the repository name so repository name is here let's copy and paste it here let us click search and you can see it's here so just click on connect and it's connected okay so scroll down and you can see so i have it in the main branch and you can click on deploy branch okay under the manual deploy and one thing is very important so 
here in the settings you have to go and under this add build pack you have to mention it requires python okay so click save changes and it's done okay so let us go to deploy let us check it so we'll click on open app and it's loading so we have successfully deployed our django application so now let us log in and check so this is the login form so i'll enter my username and my password and click on login so you can see we have logged in and here the username is fetched and here logged in successfully close and let us log out and logged out successfully so in this video we have seen how to deploy our app to the heroku server so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel